another one, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I'm playing some Let's Play. I'm playing. Oh, no, no. I'm playing some Zeno Saga Episode Three. The lady messed me up. <laughs> Cause she won't shut the hell up. Damn it, woman! I'm trying to record a Let's Play here, don't you know? Some people so inconsiderate. Okay, do we have a boss fight? Shut up, lady! I swear to God. Oh, hey, thanks. Blow it up. Oh, okay. I, was, I thought for a second there might not be anything in there, but apparently there is. Okay. It's kind of strange that they put four there and only one of them has something in it, but whatever. Go to the isolated area. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure nothing bad will possibly happen. I'm only annoyed because the announcer won't shut the hell up, um, and because of my own psychosis, I get a very tripped up when I'm trying to commentate on something that's happening on the screen for you guys and try to entertain you, and somebody else is talking in my ear. Level has been switched to a. All access. I yearn for a cutscene <gasps> to make her shut up. Level has been switched to a. Oh, fudge nugget. All Oh, fudge nugget. <laughs> Fine, take this one. Oh, damn it! I didn't get a back attack! Excuse you. Fudge nugget. Oh! If you definitely need to go through the main route, we should use the elevator to enter from the back. Don't worry, I've actually used it before! Have you, Jin? So, um, somebody commented on my last Xenosaga video and confirmed that Momo was built or born on Proto Merkaba. Which is the final dungeon of Xenosaga 1, technically. Um, however, my point about how the hell did Momo get out of Milsha still stands. Um, because when Milsha gets goes tits up... Woman? When Milsha goes tits up, um, all of Milsha in space gets taken with it, including the Proto Merkaba. Um, the Proto Merkaba warship also gets shoved into wherever the hell Milsha got shoved into, I can't remember. Um, so, yeah, still, how did Momo survive? And the reason that- oh, okay, my controller already disconnected. The reason that- uh, oh dear, people. Um, the reason that I know that Proto Merkaba also got sucked into the space-time anomaly like Milsha did is because that's how it gets brought back to be the final dungeon of Xenosaga 1. The so Albedo uses the Song of Nephilim to sort of summon it in a weird way, because you have to go through the Song of Nephilim dungeon before you go through Proto Merkaba. Um, and it pulls Proto Merkaba out of whatever space time pocket Mulcher got sho shoved into. So the point still stands like, how did Momo get out? <laughs> I mean, sh potentially got, you know, evacuated by whoever was on Proto Merkaba at the time. However, still kind of weird because Joachim was not there to rescue her. Joachim was not there to rescue Momo. And I'm not entirely sure anybody else at that point would have cared, because Yuli wasn't a big fan of her at that point either. Anyway. Shh. Quiet, Junior. If they find us, it's all over. Uh oh Sorry. Kevin! That's Dad! Kevin, Daddy, Margulis, and in the background, Cecily and Kath, Fabronia's sisters. Margulis. How is it progressing? Lord Heinlein is concerned. Lord Heinlein? I thought this project was under Lord Sergius's jurisdiction. Lord Sergius is only interested in Proto Omega. It's too powerful a toy for that fool. Rude. <laughs> so, while the Federation is easy to deceive, Ormus leaders are less likely to be fooled. The Federation's operation will soon begin. The system must be activated at the same time. The project has already entered the final phase. Dr. Sellers is in charge of the system. I'm calibrating the vessels of Anima. And I'm stealing the vessels of Anima! <laughs> the artifacts of God scattered throughout space with the disappearance of lost Jerusalem. Our objective is to return them to their proper form so we may return to our holy land. That is the reason the Zohar 
and the vessels of Anima were created. Yeah, no, it wasn't. No, no, it wasn't. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I'll get into that later. You fucking wrong, Margulis. So, that's the Zohar. Mm hmm. Yes, the Zohar and the vessels of Anima were once one whole. Not really. No, bro. It would be better to say that they were intended to be one whole. Again, not really. I understand that the link experiment has been delayed. Perhaps this project is beyond Mizrahi's capability, Supervisor Uzuki. Professor Mizrahi isn't the reason. We have to be careful since Vabroni is the only usable transgenic type unit we have. She's still disposable. We can always make another. God, Kevin, you are the worst. <laughs> Why do you insist on using realities? You could use those patients for the experiment. Because of fear. Fear? Unlike humans, Reallians feel no fear. That's why we can use them. Again, blatantly untrue. I mean, Momo is a um, 100 series type Reallian, which was still being prototyped and they didn't even have a complete model. In fact, Momo was the first um, 100 series Reallian. Um, official 100 series Reallian. Because there were, there were the Kirschwassers. Um, but they weren't complete 100 series. Um, they were the prototypes for Momo, who was the prototype for the 100 series. And Momo definitely feels fear in the first game! <laughs> I've heard that Reallians feel fear as well. There we go. Yeah, they absolutely do. All things fear their own death. But Reallians are strongly connected to each other by their subconscious. They never reject each other. Even if their body disappears, they are still connected at the subconscious level. Which leads to something really bad happening soon. That's what makes them different from people. In order to control the Zohar, we must use Lemageton and convey human will from the vessels of Anima via the UMN. That is a bad idea, Suo. <laughs> that results in direct contact with Udu, and Udu invokes primal fear in human beings. Humans reject others. Those who are rejected are overcome with fear of isolation. That fear is even stronger than that of death, since humans are weak. And I, that's what, and I believe that's what happened to Albedo. That fucking the original source of the Lemageton, then things might be different. But we are limited in what we can do with this emulation. It's based on incomplete data, and because of that deficiency, we've already wasted one transgenic type unit. <gasps> uh oh. Lemageton? The Shit, shut up. Consciousness unavoidably suffers stress. Since it acts as a wall to suppress the human fear of Udu. At any rate, we'll take care of the problems. There's nothing to worry about. A certain company has agreed to support us as well. Of course, it's all unofficial. Vector! <laughs> Vector, I presume. Is it safe? All that matters are results. That's the only thing any business cares about. But if that Lord Sergius learns of Vector's involvement, he's not going to be happy. Then he won't know, and we will have a new master soon enough. I'd be careful saying things like that, Commander. The walls have ears, you know. It's like, we will have a new master soon enough. Sergius doesn't get killed until the end of Xenosaga 2, which takes place like 14, 15 years after yeah, Milsha. I can't believe you. <laughs> you betrayed Mom, and me, and everyone. No, he didn't. You don't have the full story yet, Shion. You don't have the full story yet. <laughs> Just you wait, lady. Just you wait. Just you wait, you stupid woman. <sighs> oh, of course I went the wrong way, because I always go left on reflex. This is fine. <laughs> Move, yes. I'm sure us completely stealing the yes is gonna end well. Oops, I got water on my hand. It's the vessels of Anima! Hoo-wee! This is a nice setup! I'm getting excited just looking at it! <laughs> This is it, huh? Such a weirdo. <laughs> Those cages should contain the vessels of Anima. 
this and that and enter. Again, they just gloss over hacking so easily. They're dealing with tech that's fifth. I mean, I guess it's a good idea that the professor's the one doing it because he's an old man and, you know, he probably knows tech of 15 years ago really well, but... As a tech person, that's like comparing a play the architecture of a Amazing. PlayStation 1 to a PlayStation 4. Look at that! This is... Simeon! Zebulon and Dina's names are here too. There are 11 cages containing vessels of Anima. Simeon, Dina, Zebulon, Reuben, Levi, Issachar, Gad, Joseph, Dan... Simeon Afton, is... A boss in the Song of Nephilim in the first game, I think. I can't remember. As ES craft. And as you can see, Asher's cage is empty. Wait a minute. What's going on? The ESs were developed at Vector. What are they doing here? It's just like what Margulis said. Heinlein from Hyams and Wilhelm of Vector oversee the weapons at this facility. The two of them may have made some sort of exchange. Which just might have involved the vessels of Anima. Or? Backdoor weapons deals are so common these days. Even the tabloids wouldn't bother printing anything about it. They're the same person. Basically, these are so valuable <laughs> that they're even more important than reputation or profit concerns. <laughs> God damn, Professor! <laughs> Prepare each of your ESs. Transport them to their respective cargo holds. Now! Damn, bruh! Scott, retrieve the vessels of Anima. Yes, Professor. I can't- I don't think, at least in the game itself, I think they explained in the database exactly what the vessels of Anima actually are. I remember what they actually are. It's a little messed up. I'll let you guys know later. <laughs> when it becomes more pertinent to the story. What about Asher? The cage is empty. I know that. I thought we'd be able to use a different vessel. But it seems that won't work. Don't tell me we can't use Asher. Oh, stop whining. <laughs> We've got another reactor for Asher. We originally developed it for Erday, so its capabilities are top class. I can't remember if that becomes storyline important later, because you can't use the anima ability if you don't have a vessel of anima. Are you sure remember. it's going to be okay to use some weird thing like that? Rude. Chaos, say something. Well, yeah, it's Jesus, the professor, and it's not like we have any other choice. If you guys haven't played this game before, you don't know the story, um, your hint is that the vessels of Anima actually have something very important to do with chaos. <laughs> of all people. <laughs> He's scratching his butt. I have a really bad feeling about this. Actually, you shouldn't. But we'll get- but we'll see that later. should stop your complaining. It's ready to fight any time. See, wow. this cutscene's in-game rendered, Not but <laughs> the other ones can't be. Uh, uh, what the hell? Have we been caught? You were yes, caught, like, three hours ago, all, bruh. We're using their mainframe to get these things assembled, so of course they noticed us. It's like sending a message. We're using your stuff without permission. Chaos? Oh, well. I guess we better hurry up and get going. <laughs> because they needed to use their equipment to assemble Asher. I think that's what that was. I don't think um, it was because of um, Dinah and Zebaloon. I think, it, and I guess, I can't remember the name of Jins. Um, oh, here's the problem. Yep. What's going on? Happens immediately. They're not going to shut down again, are they? No. This is the vessels of Anima resonating with our wills. What? With our wills? Our consciousnesses and the vessels of Anima have begun to synchronize. And take my frame rate. <laughs> so this is what Virgil meant when he said we're being compelled to ride them? But what does it mean? Is this caused by someone's will? I don't know, but I have a feeling his words did mean something. 
but you can, but Chaos and, uh, Chaos and Junior don't have to worry about it. It is kind of telling that the one ES is the, the one synchronization continues, with it's only Chaos in time it. before the vessels. What is it, Chaos? What? Oh, it's about the ESs. Controlling them is even more difficult than before. Be careful and don't lose control. Yeah, Chaos is holding back right, on them. Gotcha. <laughs> Chaos is so holding back on them. Chaos. Bruh. Wow. <laughs> what are you trying to use this power for? See, Chaos knows Wilhelm. Presence of intruders confirmed. Eliminate all Awakening level to each aircraft has learned a new special attack. Cool. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do, presence Mom. Of <laughs> He's like, you didn't have presence of intruders confirmed when I was mowing presence your guys down in, in frickin' waves? Bruh. Presence of intruders confirmed. Hey, Pelligree. The vessels of Anima have been stolen. Impossible. How? Don't worry about it, bruh. What's the commotion? Someone has infiltrated the facility and stolen three vessels of Anima. Vessels of Anima? Is it Federation soldiers? We don't know. The enemy moved the vessels onto unknown aims. They're currently on the run. They aren't unknown, but sure. <laughs> they moved vessels of Anima into Ames craft? So they've completed the ES before we did? What shall we do? Prepare the Interstellar Strategic Integrated Weapon System. I... <laughs> I said get ready to launch. Is there a problem? It's still in testing phase. It's too risky to use in real combat. I don't care. Capture those aims at any cost. Which means I'm gonna beat shit out of it. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Eliminate on But why is this here? Presence of intruders confirmed. Eliminate okay. on contact. It's probably for later. <laughs> Presence of intruders confirmed. Eliminate on contact. I repeat. Oh, that's a door. <laughs> Presence of intruders confirmed. Eliminate on contact. I repeat. Presence of intruders confirmed. Can I get through? Can I get through? Yes! Eliminate on contact. I repeat. No combat for Presence me. <laughs> You cannot catch me! I am the gingerbread, yes! What? Oh fuck, um, bye! <laughs> I'm trying not to get into combat, okay? Because I don't want to make another cut when I'm recording. Or not, you know, yeah. Okay! Actually, let's do a little bit of shopping first and then we'll save. Oh. Okay, it's nothing I give a sh- Oh wait, no. The ES equipment's on the other screen. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna use... No. Hmm. See, I can't remember. I can't remember if Asher has access to um, um, Anima level. I don't think it does because it doesn't have a Vessel of Anima right now. Right, I'm gonna leave Asher in reserve, just in case, because I can't- I honestly cannot remember because it's been that long since I played this game. Okay, that's for Asher. Uh, yeah, I'll get that one. Yeah, I'll get that one. And that one. Wait, did I just buy- fuck. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why? Oh, it's because one's a sword and one's long. Oh, okay. Mm. That one's stung on lightning, beam lightning, like his mind down, like his balance down. Um, again, I can't remember what any of this shit does. <laughs> That's a problem. Ooh, but that can give soul down. Ooh, but that's a fucking Gatling gun. Now, oh, soul down, soul down can be good. 
have. Okay, so take that. Take that. Take that. What do the other ones have equipped? <laughs> you got? Oh, <laughs> I can only have one of them. Okay, this is gonna take me a minute. I'll be right back. Actually, yeah, I've been recording for 26 minutes, so I'm not gonna have to cut that much out. So I think I'm gonna end the video here, you guys, because then I am I to say a point, I might as well. My name is Miss Grace Hinnager, and I've been playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'll see you all in the next video.